tremendous impact on my life. When I was only 17, the first time I sat front row center and I watched Mary Kate Danaher walk across that meadow and the wonderful Sean Thornton gazing at her. In fact, I think his lines were, is she real? She couldn't be. Well, I found out that she definitely was real because later in life, when I began to write some articles about the quiet man, I got to meet and to know Maureen O'Hara personally. And I then designed a website, and from the website, I went on to having some articles published. And then I went to Ireland, as if it doesn't get better than that, and uh, I got to meet uh, an author of a book on the quiet man who took me about the sites, the film sites. It was absolutely wonderful. And then, we keep moving right along, I was asked by a &E Biography if I would like to be an archivist for their production of Maureen O'Hara's profile last year. So, it has really been a wonderful adventure for me, and the spirit and the, the wonderful uh, determination of Maureen O'Hara as Mary Kate has inspired me throughout my life. And I know that if you truly believe that you can have your dreams come true. Little did I know that I'd ever be sitting in Maureen O'Hara's living room talking about the movie, but I did, and I've been very, very lucky. In fact, you might say I've had the luck of the Irish. <laughs>